So, welcome back. We are here looking at the uh, commodities and uh, the precious metals, and we'll start by looking at the US dollar. So, the US dollar has uh, fallen quite significantly last week, but we it seems like we are running into uh, support around this area here. This was historically uh, support, and if we look at the technical indicators, these don't look very promising, but if you look for at the four hour chart, they are starting to show signs that we have reached um, we have reached the bottom. So the CCI in the four hour chart is turning around. We are oversold. The stochastic is turning around. And same is the MACD. You can basically see there's a break here, and it is basically turning around. So the CCI will turn around much sooner than all the other uh, indicators. So we also have a promising green candlestick here just above this support area. So it is anticipated that the US dollar will appreciate on Monday session. That is highly likely going to be the case. And of course, that will have a negative effect on gold, negative effect on oil, copper, all these commodities and so on. And, um, and it will also have a negative effect on indices and stocks. So this is um, a good sign. This is basically a very good sign for, for trades next week. Um, so yes, this is very encouraging. Um, we should find... A little bit of resistance here of these previous lows and then we go all the way towards the uh, the 50 moving average and that is at 93.33 and that also means that we are going to trade again above the 50 moving average if we go further then we go test these highs here at 40 and 94.27 27 27 yeah and then to 94.78. So this is an current sign. We'll probably hit the, the lows here. A break below this then opens the door to much lower levels at 91.72. And there is probably the reason where you should leave the oil trade if that is the case. Because that means that oil will technically rally. So if you look at the oil market... It seems to be a quite a correlation between um, a good correlation between the U.S. dollar and uh, uh, and WTI, because we are rallying now in the four-hour chart in WTI, and we are also seeing this major pullback in oil. So we, this is one of the best trades I think uh, it did last week, and that was basically entering a sell position exactly here at the 50 moving average. And this is the, basically the entire point of my trading strategy is to sell at major resistance and buy at major support. That is it. That's the only thing technically I look, look, look at there. There, of course, sometimes news comes into uh, to uh, to into the equation when there is major major news, but but by entering a cell here, you are minimizing your risk as much as possible by having a stop loss right on uh, above as well, and you're maximizing your profit take by by entering a uh, uh, by entering a, a sell position here or short position there. Um. The reason why I left this around this area here is because I saw that we are running into um, support at the 200 moving average. So it is not 100% clear whether or not this breaks. If this breaks, then we are going to go lower. We are going to go at least to $36. And if that breaks, then we are going all the way down to $33 and below that. We are in a downtrend. We are going similar to this. The question is just how far we are going. We are trading in between the 50 and the 200 moving average at this point. We could see a pullback. We could basically jump a little bit on Monday session and then go further down. We could also see a pullback towards the 50 moving average. That just gives us another opportunity to enter a short. Um, so that is the reason why I left this uh, way I sold my positions is because I saw that we were running into support here. 
And um, I will probably enter again if I see that we are going to go continue lower. So if you look at natural gas, so this was uh, the other trade that we are making. And the reason why I entered this trade is because we are hitting major, major resistant area around there. We are hitting major support around this area here. So the reason why I don't put it all the way down there is probably is because this was overshot and, and so on. So this should be a more accurate line than, than I did in the other video. So first of all, just an advice. If you are a new trader, this probably is not the commodity you should be trading. This is far, far, far the most difficult commodity to trade. And the reason why it is, it, there are many reasons. First of all, it's really expensive. The fees are absolutely ridiculous. And it can be very expensive to trade this because, um, well, it moves very fast. So I highly recommend don't use high leverage. The maximum leverage that you probably should use here is basically um, 2x or 5x. So 5 leverage or 2 leverage. If you use uh, 10 and 20 or higher leverage in this, you there, there, there's just, it's not, it's not a very good idea. So we put in a stop loss around this area. And that the, and the reason for that is because that is, um, put it up here. That is basically a previous um, resistant area, which will be support now. And this right underneath the 50 moving average. So if this trend line breaks, then we have the 50 moving average as, as, as uh, support and then if that breaks then of course we need to to uh, minimize our risk and basically the, the stop loss is right here um the reason for uh early entry here usually i wouldn't enter before uh, before we see a green candlestick here is because this market behaves very erratically and very fast you can see an example of that down here when we almost hit the, the support area of the, of the 50 moving average. And the next day it jumped and then just rallied very significantly. So if you're not early, you will not be able to enter. So you take a risk. And that's also one of the reasons why this is riskier than most other instruments is that you take more risk. But of course, more risk is also more reward. Um, but by entering at major support, by having a stop loss underneath, you can minimize your risk. That is the way that you should uh, trade natural gas. So if you look at the 4-hour chart, they look much more promising than the 50-hour chart. We can see that we are hitting this uh, support area here three times. We are at the moment trading above it. And the technical indicators on the four-hour chart are all turning around. The RSI is at 30. That is also very good. We are basically on the edge of being oversold. CCI is turning around. Stochastic is flat. And the MACD is also flat. So this is a very encouraging sign that we are going to go higher. Question is just how high. So at this point, I anticipate... To the 50 moving average here around 3.18 or to the very highs here at 3.38 so it's up to every person to take profit usually if you're satisfied with your profit i always recommend take your profit because greed can be very expensive so if you look at copper I used to trade copper all the time. I just hate the copper market at this point. But we have significant resistance here at 3.2. We are heading towards 3.2. And for those that are interested, this is probably, uh, uh, if, this, if we find major resistance here and it turns around, then there is a possible trade to be done towards the 50 moving average. So... It's not a lot, but it is a trade. 
we are in this range at this point and the 50 moving average is uh, for somewhat reason uh, acting as major support and as long as that is the case we're trading in this range so uh, uh, a move towards these very highs is possible to basically short towards these lows and then buy and so on just follow this range technical indicators for copper are very bullish at this point so anticipate this market to go higher for whatever reason uh, it should actually be going lower because demand for copper is significantly lower now due to the world economy so if you look at gold so gold has rallied and um Probably the main reason is the US dollar index. It depreciated significantly last week and therefore you also have this rally. So if the US dollar index turns around, then gold will turn around. So that is the major resistant area. If this breaks, then we are going to these very highs. If we uh, break below the 50 moving average, then we have these very lows. So gold is in the middle of nowhere at this point. This is not a market I'm looking uh, to basically enter at all because I only trade when we are at major, for example, resistance, which is there, and when we are at major support, which is all the way down here and probably to the 1800 level. You can basically put it up to the 1800 level there. So you can see this is the top, this is the bottom. We are basically right in the middle. And then it becomes basically on a 50-50 trade and that is not an odds that you should take you should take odds when you are in your favor if you trade it here if you start selling here or if it breaks here or if you buy for example here your odds of uh, of uh, getting this right are probably around 89 85 to 90 percent and that is a far better trade than 50 percent so even though you see this rally it can turn around just as far as easy as it goes up. So that's why don't enter this market. Even though you see this rally, it can turn around just as fast as it's turning to the upside because we're technically in the mid range. So if you look at silver, this is exactly the same thing as gold. I have no interest in basically in entering this because we are basically in the middle of nowhere. We broke the 50 moving average. We need to break these uh, this area here in order to go higher. If you look at the very highs, they are there. That is major resistant. And then at the bottom of this range, we have a low here at the $21. But the, uh, the very best to enter is here at the $20 range. So I expected this to fall. I do ex still expect this to fall due to the um, due to the US dollar index will most likely appreciate next week and therefore uh, we will probably have another opportunity to enter here at uh, at the 21 or a 20 dollar range or if this basically rallies to the upside then of course then we'll see a, a, a complete collapse in the US dollar index which is not anticipated at this point. Technical indicators for silver are very bullish at this point, but still, we are basically in the middle of nowhere. This is still a 50-50 uh, trade. So we have 50% of basically getting it right, 50% of getting it wrong, and those odds are not good enough. So, Cocoa. We are also here in the middle of nowhere. We have the highs here. We have the lows way down here and what we are probably witnessing at this point is basically a rally towards the 50, uh, 200 moving average or the 50 moving average so in that case we are probably making l lower lows so these this is low and another low here and then we're rallying up and then we'll probably see another low and that could mean that we are heading towards this uh, low range here and that makes it interesting um, at this point it's not interesting in entering this market probably if you get close to the 50 moving average then you can short it down towards these lows but we're not there yet there we'll probably have a few days before we get there technically indicated for cocoa are fairly bullish so 
we may get that chance to uh, to rally towards the 50 moving average and then make this trade. This is quite a good trade. Um, so that is the possibility. Otherwise, I'm just waiting until we get to these highs or lows. So platinum. Uh, we can see platinum here. Uh, and it's just more of the same. We have this enormous area underneath here which will act as as uh, support the 200 moving average and this entire area here will act as support so betting on or shorting this well that will short live because i don't think we'll get closer you know, more, uh, further than the 200 moving average rallies here are well they are not working we tried to rally here, didn't work. We tried to rally here, we have a pullback, but we are still trading about the 50 moving average. Technical indicators are turning around, so it may well be that we'll just see more of the same. We'll we'll um, go back towards the 200 moving average and then just trade in between the 50 and the 200 moving average. As long as this is the case, um, there's no reason to enter this. Uh, there's just not enough profit to be to be earned at, at this point. We need a break above these candlesticks to in order to go to these highs of 979 and then to 1000. Um, I just don't see this market breaking below this area here. And even though it does, uh, we have to wait until it gets here in order to short it down to the very lows. So if you look at sugar, this is more an interesting market to, uh, to enter. Um, we have a major resistant uh, support line here. We have the 50 moving average support line and the 200 moving average. So there's a lot of support underneath. A move towards the 50 moving average is a pop possible trade. Uh, a probably best entry point is around here. So I don't know how far this will trade sideways because we are trading sideways at this point. We are uh, in a small range of the highs there at 0 0.1519. And then we are in the lows here of around 0 0.1391. So if we break below this, then we'll head towards this trend line here. And that is basically the entry point that we are looking for. To enter here is fairly risky. We can go to the upside, uh, but the idea is to buy it cheap in order to also maximize your profit. So a fall towards the 50 moving average is a possible entry. A fall towards the, the support line here is the basically the best entry that you can get. Technical indicators are fairly bullish, but we have not broken these highs. If these highs break, then we go to these very highs of 0 0.1586. So if you look at wheat, we can see that we have broken down quite significantly again. And of course, this opens up a possible trade in the wheat market. We can see that we have a major support line here, which will act as support. And it's a possible entry to this market. Technical indicators are looking very bearish at this point. So we'll probably get that opportunity. It will fall towards this area here. If that breaks, then the 50 moving average is right underneath. And we also have this area here, which will act as as um, a support. So this area here. So there's a lot of support underneath. So don't expect this to break down significantly. There will be a stop loss right around this area here uh, if I technically enter this market. But a fall towards this the support line here opens the door for a trade all the way up to $636. Okay. So, well, good luck and thank you very much.